The PS5 Pro design and new information has leaked. We will be talking about everything in today's video. Please like, subscribe to never miss a PlayStation update, and share to help grow this community. Now, a well-known insider has reported that an official announcement for the PS5 mid-generation upgrade is expected in early September, according to Deal Labs user Bill Bill Kun, who has a strong history of accurately leaking gaming-related news. The new console will be named the PS5 Pro. Wow, nobody was expecting that. They claim the announcement is imminent, with the reveal expected during the first half of September. Bill Bill Kun also shared that they've been seeing the packaging design for the PS5 Pro. While they couldn't share the actual image due to copyright, they provided a sketch that reveals a design similar to the PS5 Slim, maintaining the white color scheme. The most notable difference is the addition of three black stripes across the middle of the console, distinguishing it from previous models. Think about almost like that PS2 Slim when they had that glossy strip right down the middle. It's also suggested that the PS5 Pro will be slightly thicker than the PS5 Slim. However, the face plates appear to be compatible with those designed for the PS5 Slim, which is nice because that just means you don't have to go out and get more faceplates if you already have some. One detail that remains uncertain is whether the PS5 Pro will include a disk drive. The image shared by Bill Bill Kun shows a model without one, leaving open the possibility that Sony may offer either a digital only version or two models, one with a disk drive and one without. It's also possible that a disk drive could be sold separately, similar to the PS5 Slim. Bill Bill Kun speculates that Sony might choose to release the PS5 Pro without a disk drive to keep the price competitive. And I personally think that that's very, very very likely and the fact that you can already buy a disk drive separately still opens that door or leaves that door open for you to decide that without being forced to do that in the event that hey you don't want a disk drive and i think with game sales being more on the digital side they're probably looking at that as an aspect as well plus obviously upselling you on a disk drive which they sell for more when you buy it separately so from a business standpoint they're doing it for a reason from a consumer standpoint not so great but if you're a digital only customer then that's there for you as well to save some money in some aspect now while there has been much speculation about the internal specs of the ps5 pro bill bilkins report offers no new information on this front but we've heard a lot from uh, moore's law is dead leaked documents from sony's developer networks outlining some of the console specifications the leak was verified by multiple sources including ign before being taken down by sony copyright strike which further lent cred credibility to its authenticity so the video claimed originally that the ps5 pro cpu would be similar to the standard ps5 but with a high cpu frequency mode that boosts the cpu by 10 percent to 3.85 gigahertz and at the cost of slightly reducing gpu performance the ps5 pro's gpu is set to deliver 33 0.5 teraflops compared to the ps5's 10.28 teraflops though this doesn't equate to three times the power due to differences in amd's architecture but the real world comparison is closer to like 17 teraflops with rendering expected to be about 45 percent faster so that's really what we know at this point about the ps5 pro we know somewhat about its specs we know what it looks like I think all this information is certainly accurate, and I think that we're obviously going to see it very soon coming in September. So if we're going to see it uh, in the coming weeks, like by mid-September, I'm assuming that that's when the state of play will be, unless they plan on announcing it through a blog post, but I don't see that being the case. I think it's definitely going to be a state of play worthy thing where they can show us some games that are going to be running on the PS5 Pro as well. I'm super excited for this. I, I do want to buy one. And if the price is right, I definitely will purchase it day one, which I do think they are going to try to keep this price competitive. How are you guys feeling about this? Are you looking at a PS5 Pro? Do you even have a PS5 at this point? And if you do have a PS5, would you consider upgrading if the results were a lot better than what you have already? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and share the video to keep this community growing. I thank you all for watching. Take care.